Welcome to the Need for Excel YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you VLOOKUP with dynamic field headers. Right. So this is my database. These are the customer codes and these are the field headers. I have set up two different drop down lists over here. One is for the customer codes, which is actually coming from this range. And one, this is the field headers. This is coming from range A1 to range E1. So I'll be selecting my criteria over here. I'll be selecting a customer code and I'll be selecting a field header. And based on my selection, I want the appropriate value to be returned in this cell, in cell B10. All right, let's go ahead and build the formula from scratch. For this one, I'll be using two different functions. One is the match function and one is the VLOOKUP function. Just in case you don't know what a match function does is it looks up a value in a specified range and it returns the column index number or the row index number based on the selection. In this particular case, the column index number is going to vary based on this selection from this criteria. So I'm going to use the match function to derive the column index number, which I'll be using in the VLOOKUP function later on. So let's start with match. My lookup value is this. My table array is going to be the field headers. Comma zero because I'm looking for an exact match. Now this is the value which we are going to use as the column index number in the VLOOKUP function because this is going to be dynamic. Let's try the VLOOKUP function now. Lookup value is the customer code. Lookup array is the whole table. Column index number is going to be this one which we just derived right now using the match function. Now the last part is inserting this part of the formula in our original formula. Let's replace this and hit enter. Now you can go ahead and delete this part because we don't need it anymore. Just to test it out, I'm going to try with a different customer and a different field header. So it turns Australia. I hope my video helped. Thank you.